Hey guys, it's Antis. We're back in Pokey 1. Uh, like I said last time, I was going to walk over to Violet City since we were right there at the end. So I have walked over to use the uh, Pokemon Center. <clears throat> I did figure out the thing with bounties. I forgot that sometimes in front of Pokemon Centers there will be a um, Officer Jenny standing where my guy is standing now. And she will offer you bounties. So I was able to do like two bounties... Uh, which leveled up Cyndaquil a little bit. And as you can see, Cyndaquil is actually level 12, but my player level is level 11. Uh, and I know that yesterday I had said uh, the Pokemon can't level up past your trainer level. Uh, they can actually level up. I did some research. I looked it up on the website and everything. They can level up two levels higher, uh, and they'll still listen to you. They'll still gain XP and all that. So that's why we're at level 12 at the moment. Now, I have walked around town, talked to everyone to make sure there was no side quests or anything. Uh, Pokemon Gym is right here, but just like the original games, you have to go over and do the uh, the Bellsprout Tower first. So we're going to go ahead and head on over there. It is 5 p.m., so my hope is that maybe by the time we're done with the Sprout Tower, it'll be dark and we can get ourselves a, a Ho-Oh so we can actually get two Pokemon here. Let's go ahead and head on in here. It's really dark in here. <clears throat> and we do currently have three boxes to open just because while I was leveling up Cyndaquil a little bit and taking a look at what to do for the... Uh, um, I don't remember. Well, <laughs> while I was taking a look at the, while I was waiting for nighttime to see if I catch a ho ho, uh, I did those two bounties, and uh, obviously some time passed. I believe it's every forty-five minutes you get a small box for free, so I think we have like two or three of them are small boxes. So we're character level 11. Oh, we actually got a decent little chunk of XP there. We should be good. We shouldn't have to, like, leave or anything. I don't want to, like, uh, continue battling if uh, Cyndaquil becomes at a point where he can no longer earn XP, because then it's just a waste. Uh, at that point, I guess we would have to leave Bellsprout Tower, head out and look for a Ho-Oh, and then we'll uh, use that to fight. But I'm not thinking that we're going to have to do that. So, if you want to fight me, I'm pretty sure everyone in this tower will fight you. So, I think this is just going to be a lot of... I'm hoping that we can at least get through uh, the Sprout Tower here and beat the Gym Leader. Um, and then work our way down. I think it's Route 30, if I'm not mistaken. But I, don't, I definitely don't see us getting much further than that. We'll probably just get to Route 30. <clears throat> yep, get ready for a lot of bell sprouts. I think, uh, yeah, I, okay, I just just by saying that, I figured out what the name of this video is going to be. It's going to be called Pokey 1, number 2, cause, or, or not number 2, it's number 2 right now. I'm going to look at the playlist to see what number it is. Um, it'll be like, Pokey 1, that's a lot of bell sprouts plus Violet City Gym, or whatever. Now, I know some of these pathways, oh, I forgot there's wild Pokemon encounters in here. So we're going to run from Wild Encounters right now, because we don't care about that. They're all low level and stuff, it's not going to make much of a difference. Alright. 
<laughs> I take one step and get in a battle. Now I did spend some of my pokey money. Uh, basically all of it, and I was only able to get like 12 um, repels. So what we'll do is those repels... I'll use, I'm not going to use them in here because I just feel like it's going to be a waste. Uh, but when we're, when we're going through these large, thick, uh, grassed areas, we'll, we'll use the repels. That way I'm not wasting so much of your guys' time watching me just run from Poke Battles. God, this is annoying. I literally just healed him up, and he's actually weaker than he was before I healed him up. Let me guess, quick attack? Yep, failed to run away, because he's going to use a quick attack. Jesus, this is annoying. <clears throat> I'm definitely not going to die here. Like, this is ridiculous. Alright, fine, I'll use a repel. I mean, I bought him to use him, so whatever. Quick attack, cool, let's get rid of smoke screen then. Obviously, we'll have to fight the trainers, but uh, that's going to save us a little bit of time there. I just, uh, I hate running in all these ratatats. They're just going to quick attack us over and over to death until we, and it's going to make it where we can't run away. And I didn't really plan on fighting all of them, you know. We don't want to gather up too much XP or we won't be able to use our Pokemon. Or we'll get to a point where he won't gain XP. I'm not 100% sure. It's been so long since I've had that problem. They do keep a counter up here, too, which is kind of cool. I don't know why all these guys have hair. I'm, like, 100% sure that in the original games, they were all bald monks. Hey, that's what we're looking for. We need one of those. Nope, I was just... I'm trying not to waste steps, but I'm also trying to make sure we explore all the little side areas because like we found that one item and uh if i'm not mistaken there's like some wrong ways we can take that then lead us to items I do have to apologize, I am a little bit tired. I just got done working. I thought I'd jump on some of this for a little bit and get us another video recorded. <clears throat> At least since we chose Cyndaquil as our Pokemon, we're just knocking all these bell sprouts out in like one hit. Which is great for us.
Oops, I did not mean to actually walk up there yet. I thought I was going to walk by the ladder. See, I saw an item sitting over here. I should have should have bought an escape rope too, just so I don't have to walk back through all the wild Pokemon on my way out. I might have one actually. I'm not sure. Just because I still have all my items from uh, doing Kanto. This uh, Sprout Tower is a lot smaller than I remember. I swear there was more floors in this. But we're already at the end. And we're only like 12 minutes in, so we should definitely have time to do everything I was planning on doing. Okay. I did not read that. I thought we had to fight him right there. Hey, an escape rope! Well, we definitely have one now. destroy this dude. This guy thinks he's awesome because he's like the master of the tower, but we're just gonna obliterate everything he's got. Sprout. Dead. Goodbye. Yes. Definitely want him to evolve. Alright. So I definitely got what I was wanting to get, which was, uh... Like how I said before, that I always evolve my starter Pokemon at least one time before I take on the gym, so we got that, he just evolved. I didn't realize he evolved at 14, though, I was thinking he evolved at, like, 15 or 16. Oh, since I already have the Flash HM, he just gave me an Ultra Ball. PM. I see like the lights and stuff on, but I don't know if that means it's dark enough to find Ho-Oh. I don't recall what time it was in the last episode, like how late we played into the game. Um, the in-game time. <clears throat> Now, we definitely need at least two Pokemon by the end of this episode, so we gotta... Hopefully, it gets dark enough that we can get a ho -Oh. So we're gonna head back to the route over here, take a look and see. We'll uh, do a couple wild encounters, and then if not, we'll just head back to the gym.
Yeah, I still just don't think... It's like evening. It says evening time. That's spring in the evening. I guess we have to probably wait like two more in-game hours. Yeah, at least we'll have a decent amount of... Uh, boxes to open at the end of this. We have six so far. We're still going to take on the gym leader. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go over to the gym. We'll beat all the trainers in there. We'll take on the gym leader. We're definitely going to kick his butt. And then hopefully we can head down to the next route. It should be nighttime, which means the Ho-Oh should be out. And then since it's a, since it's a later stage route, uh, the Pokemon will be higher level slightly anyways. So we can get a Ho-Oh that'll be a little bit stronger than what we would have got from that route. This is annoying. I know he's a bird trainer, so I guess his, I guess he battles all the way at to the top of this tower. Is there no one? Okay, I was gonna say this is what I was looking for. Side trainers. I remember this. <laughs> his uh, battling area is just a big dollar sign. Alright, I guess let's just torch everybody. Torch them all to death. Did not realize that guy only had one Pokemon. The trainer level is about to go up again. I also tried to look up the EXP share. I thought I had an, an EXP share on this game. I guess I didn't. I guess I was just thinking of something else. Um, I looked it up on the Poke One forums and all that, and it just gave me information about what an EXP share was. I couldn't find anything that said where to get it. Yeah, I'm ready to kick your butt. Now, I guess they didn't give him the right Pokemon, because I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure, yeah, I'm 90% sure that he had a, uh, maybe he didn't, maybe that's just in the manga. I know in the Pokemon, event, the Pokemon Adventure manga, he has a Pidgeotto and a Skarmory, so I was expecting him to have a low-level Skarmory. Wow, should it should have just flamethrowered him. Yep, I figured he was gonna use roost, so I just chose flamethrower again. <clears throat> so, yep, wiped him out. Alright. So there we go. We got a pokey badge. And we got another box. I guess we can't use that. I was just gonna <laughs> use the stupid escape rope, but whatever. Now, what I really want to get from one of these boxes is the uh, the po the official Pokemon League hat. 
from, you know, the original series, which is the hat that Ash wears. It's in the boxes here. It costs like 6,000 or more gold, uh, which means you have to spend real money in order to get it. And I played through the entire first area. I've never spent any gold, and I have barely over 1,000 gold. So that's, that's how hard uh, gold is to get. So I'm hoping eventually we can get lucky. Apparently, we completed a quest for healing our Pokemon. So I take a look at the quest, see what's currently on there. Uh, bounty hunting. I did two bounty hunts earlier, I thought. Challenge another player. Win a PvP. I do like the idea of these little quests and side quests, though. I think that is kind of interesting. Uh, it's a good addition for Pokemon games. No, it's Route 32. <clears throat> Actually, there is one more area that we need to go to. What do you want, Phil? Did he just give me the egg or what? I don't even know. Uh. There is a cave. Yeah, I'm not gonna teach Quill Lava Flash. So forget it. There's a little cave that you can go into back there. The girl is blocking the way, says so you can go in after. You beat Faulkner and get the Flash HM and then teach it to a Pokemon. But I am not going to waste a slot on Quill Lava for Flash. I was just going to go in and see what Pokemon were in there. Take a look at the ruins here. I don't know if there's anything to do in this area. I like it. It's Laura Croft. Supervisor Laura, Dr. Croft. That's funny. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. That's going to be a... Yep, side quest. I have a little bar that's in the way. I can't see what it says. My recording bar is covering up that bottom thing. All I can see is transcript of unknown. Uh, which is fine. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this guy was going to let me come in here or not. Okay. Okay. I don't know why he warned me about the area I just left from. Yeah, I knew Sue the Widow would be there blocking the way. I just didn't know if there's going to be any items to find up here or anything real quick. Seven PM in game, so it's still evening time. Yeah, 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 dude. I already talked to you. I have to wait for it to specifically say night. I'm hoping eight o'clock it'll say night time. That way we can get ourselves a ho. -oh. oh, you can't enter these? 
I thought these were buildings like in the other Pokemon game. I guess the only way to get down into the thing is to accept her little mission to go to the basement. Now, I do not have any interest in catching Unknown as a Pokemon for my team, but I do know that doing whatever the chick wants us to do would probably definitely be a uh, worth a box or whatever. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I figure that she just want. If I went down in there and then I didn't talk to her first, we weren't gonna have a quest, which could be a total waste. All right, let's take a look in their house. See if they got anything for us. I like to make sure we check trash cans and stuff in this game, too, because usually there's items in there. Alright, yep. Whoa, we'll reward you. Okay, cool. Show me what you got! He didn't have anything? Why did he ask me? Okay, so he's saying if I help him, then he'll give me a reward. So I can come back here and get an additional reward once I do their uh, two side quests. So I guess we'll head down in there, and uh, we'll try to see if we can get these unknowns going. We may finish this together on camera, uh, otherwise I'll just do these two little side quests by myself. And then I may go through Route 32 a little bit. Uh, I won't get all the way to the next town though, I don't want to do all that like off camera without you guys. So Now I wonder if I have to beat one in a fight? Is that going to count for collecting data? I think it did. Yep, by beating it in a fight. Or maybe it's because it was the first one I saw, so it has a different symbol. Maybe I need to enter, uh, encounter the whole alphabet. Uh, yeah, I'm not going through the whole alphabet. Let's hope that's not it. Still don't know though, because I'm gonna have to find one that. I'm frozen. There it goes. Alright, so there's just some lag. So we need to read all the statues and see if we can find two that have the same word, and then I guess we need to beat a bunch of these uh, unknowns so we can get some trans uh, transcripts on them. So it's you, moon, one, sun, <clears throat> this is where an XP share would come in handy, like on some stuff like this while we're running around with the, did I even look at this one? Question. Now. Yep. I guess 
We're at 30 minutes. I guess that's just going to do it for this episode, guys. I will go ahead and finish up this little unknown stuff. It's not going to be anything special. There's not going to be any big spoiler or anything. I remember this from the original games. There's just like some little puzzles or whatever. Um, if anything crazy happens, I'll flip the recording back on, obviously, to try to get a snippet of it. But uh, otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and do this to get us some more boxes set up for the next episode. And to kind of level up a little bit. I'm still hoping that nighttime rolls around. I've been having bad luck when it comes to nighttime. So on the next episode, I may have already caught a ho-oh uh, with any luck. So let's just end it there. Let's go ahead and open these eight boxes that we got, though. Let's take a look at these. So open the crappy boxes first. So garbage. Oh, witch's hat? No thanks, I'm not gonna wear that. <clears throat> 500 bucks. <coughs> Junk right there. At least give us one good thing. Duplicate. That sucks that you can get duplicates. So I got a duplicate, so I got 50 gold instead. Trash. Ooh, a rare candy. That's good to have. We'll hold on to all these. What I do is I'm going to store up all the rare candies I have until we get to the Pokemon League. Then I take those rare candies and whatever Poke Dollars we have. We'll check the market again, and then we'll try to just use some rare candies to level up our team before we take them on. So that's going to be in our inventory for quite a while. Alright, last box. A little bit of gold, so trash. But all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, if so, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know. I don't know anything you want, because I would say like what your favorite moment was, but there's not really that many uh, awesome moments or anything that happened during this. I'm aware of that, so it's not a big deal. Just comment whatever you want, or comment and let me know what you guys think about the series or tips or whatever. And uh, hopefully I'll just see you guys in the next video.